WordPress multi-site allows you to create multiple websites with one single installation of WordPress. It's an amazing concept that thousands of people around the world embrace. If you already have multiple single sites though, you may have never thought that merging these sites together under one installation was possible. Or maybe you're just intimidated by the thought of something that appears to be so complicated. In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to transfer a single site into and out of an existing multi-site installation. This tutorial is going to assume a few things. For starters, I'm going forward with the understanding that you have WordPress installed on at least two different sites, and that one of these sites has multi-site activated and set up. So with that stated, let's get started. First, we're going to import a site powered with a basic single site installation into the existing network. When we complete this process, the data from the single site will now be found in the multi-site network, and you'll be able to discontinue using the single install and manage that site from within the network itself. The first step here, of course, is exporting the data from your single site that you want to move. Simply save that data by going to Tools and Export from the menu. Save the XML formatted information locally to be uploaded later. Now to create a new site on the multi-site network. You can do this by navigating to My Sites, Network Admin, Sites, and then clicking Add New. When you click this, you're presented with this screen, which asks you for the details of your new site. It's very important to note here that the name of the site URL you input into this address box will also become the name of the default administrator for that site. The exception to this is if you place an email address for the admin that already exists on the network. In that case, the user that's linked to that email address will become the admin. So for example, let's say I input cool site as a site address name. The domain in this case is domain.com slash cool site. Unless you place a known email address here, cool site will become the default administrator username for this account, and the password will be sent to this email address. If, however, the email address you place here is already known by the system, say, the email I'm already using to admin my network, then the username that is already associated with the email, my own, will then become the admin. With that set, click Add Site. When this process completes, go and visit the dashboard of the site you just created. Now that you're in the dashboard of a single site, treat this like a single installation, and import data as you would from any other single install. This is done by navigating to Tools and then clicking Import. If you don't have this installer already installed on your site, click here to install it. Once that process is complete, click WordPress from the list to be taken to the importer. From there, upload the XML file that you exported from your single installation into this window. When this process completes, you'll be presented with options to assign given content to existing users. If you don't assign posts to a pre-existing user, then a default admin will be created. Also, you cannot create a new user with the same name as a pre-existing user. I recommend you don't use the username admin because this is just too common to be the most secure option. At the minimum, try and place a number in there someplace just to make it somewhat difficult for people to randomly guess. Assign content from the authors on the old site to authors on the new site, and then continue. Be sure to also check this box so that the site also imports some of the media from the old site as well. And that's it. Your old site is now part of your multi-site network. Keep in mind now that any content that you had before that relied on plugins or custom theme options will still need to be manually set up on this new site. If you don't have the plugins installed and activated on this multi-site installation, features that depend on these plugins won't work until you install them again. The URL of the pages on the website likely won't be the same either, so be sure your permalinks are set the same as before, and use domain mapping if you want the same URL as before. Now if you'd like to take one of the sites that's within your multi-site network and bring it out of the network, making it a self-contained site instead, the process of exporting your XML files and importing them into a new installation is exactly the same. Again, just make sure that you map posts to the right users, download and install all the needed plugins and features, and click the box to carry over your media as well. For more information and helpful tips on WordPress, multi-site, BuddyPress, and more, Visit us online at WPMU.org.